Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. We are a community of women over 60 who are living their life with passion and purpose and really trying to make the most of life in our 60s and 70s and beyond. And I love to do makeup videos, beauty chats, along with a lot of other content that we provide on our different channels, 60andme.com and of course our YouTube channel. But people seem to like the makeup videos because I really take a different approach than the traditional traditional um, uh, beauty bloggers. And in fact, uh, a couple of months ago, I spoke with a, a journalist named Candice Perez, who was writing an article for the Guardian Observer magazine. And she chose 60 and Me and Me as one of the women to feature. And I think she, you know, she chose us because we have a community of women who are looking at beauty and fashion and makeup in a kind of different way. You know, we're not trying to look younger or to, you know, anti-age. We're just trying to use makeup and have fun with it and to highlight the beautiful things about us that we love and maybe just uh, patch up those little things here and there that um, that we, you know, we can use techniques and great products to to have fun with. So uh, we she interviewed me and the article appeared uh, last week. I'll, I'll send that, put you a link in the section below so that you can have a look and read it. But I was very honored to be featured and to be able to give a voice to women over 60 who love makeup and uh, love the experimenting with new things and also um, using it in a way that is designed to bring out the inner beauty, you know, this, the, the wisdom and the uh, self-confidence um, and, and just the presence that we have in our 60s and to use makeup to enhance that. So today, I want to uh, share some products with you from a very good friend of ours, Ariane Poole. Now, Ariane is a, a makeup professional. She's been working with uh, celebrities and real women for years and years. She's over 60 herself, has her own product line. It's ArianePoole.com. We've done a number of videos, uh, uh, Ariane and I, over the years, and on all kinds of topics, you know, from how to apply something, how mascara, how to apply eyeliner, to more beautiful related topics of uh, foundations and um, uh, skin primers, concealers. She's got an amazing product line, but she also doesn't ever hesitate to recommend other good products. And I love that about Ariane. So she uh, sent me some of her new products and some of the ones I was familiar with. I've got this little bundle of goodies and I want to thank you, Ariane, for that. I got a chance to experiment. Now, she sent me several different color choices of different things and I'm not going to try them all today. That would be a little difficult. But because I'm wearing something kind of beigey brownie, I thought I'll go with a peachy um, approach. And it's funny, Ariane and I chatted about this uh, once about should you match your makeup? makeup to your clothes or to your eye color, uh, you know, whatever. And she said, really, it's both. Just do whatever you feel brings out the best in you. And I have hazel eyes, so I can very easily go the purple pink route. My undertone of my skin is really neutral, so I can go to either a peach color or a pink color. And that's another thing to kind of watch out for is that what is the skin undertone? Now today, of course, you've noticed I'm not wearing any makeup at all, zero, including my beautiful non-existent eyebrows, but I'm going to pull my hair back a little bit and, um, and just play with some products here. Now I've got one thing first that I do before I start anything with my face, and that's I apply um, my skin, my facial oil. It's, uh, it's one I've used for years now. I've talked about it before. I've used a lot of different facial oils. I've tried them and uh, this one suits me perfectly. It's by um, a woman called Sheena Sarles. It's growing younger gracefully. It's a beautiful um, facial oil. There's also a body um, oil, but I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on my hand and put it on my, rub it together. Oops, I'm rubbing it on my hand, on my face. Kind of pat it on and just pull the, um, you know, the skin up a little bit. Not too hard. Just be gentle. And it's a very warm day today, so I hope it's not going to be too shiny. But you get the idea. It's not oily. It's just, it gives your face this kind of a tingle. I can't really describe it any other way, but I love it. And um, I use it every single day and in the evening too. So that's Growing Younger Gracefully Facial Oil. I'll leave all the product information below, by the way, so you can check it out. But with Ariane's products, which I'm going to feature today, you can just go to ariannepool.com. And um, she has great videos herself of her products, so you don't have to really be confused about how to apply them. 
I'm going to do my best, Ariane, <laughs> remembering all the conversations that we have had. But of course, you've got if you've got your own techniques, um, please use them. Now, for example, I normally um, have well, I've started using a, fa um, a foundation brush, but today I'm not going to use that because of the product that Ariane has sent me to try. And um, you'll see what I mean when I when I do that. Now, I've put on what I would consider my primer. I don't really go too far beyond that, but Ariane did send me. Where is it? There it is. I've got all my products next to me here. Um, she sent me her facial primer, which is, um, I think, a new product, but it's really, really lovely. I've tried it, um, of course, all of this before I got on here with you. But um, I'm just going to put a little teeny bit. You don't need very much on your finger. And then just dab it on your, on your face. And with all, all this really does is sort of, um, it tightens the pores and gives you a, a palette. To work with i actually put it on my eyes as well and up in my forehead so the face primers first okay that's it now as you know from my previous um uh, videos i don't take too much i'm not like a perfectionist i am I, i'm careful with what i apply but i love to do this i just like to do it for fun so if you notice i've left a streak or something somewhere somebody tell me <laughs> So that, but you know, I just have, I, I take a, a more joyful approach to makeup application. Hope you enjoy that. Now, the reason that I use that primer though is because Ariane sent me one of her new um, foundations. Now she does have one called um, facial, it's called, what is it called? Ultimate Face Tint. It's a very lightweight foundation that's a BB cream, CC cream, primer, all in one. So you can use that. Uh, and I do use this a lot already. I have for years. But she sent me um, a stick makeup uh, can, uh, foundation. It comes in different uh, tones. We guessed with my skin tone it, that sand was going to work. Um, she also sent me a light which was very, very light for me. So um, I'm going to put the sand on. And this is, um, if I can just get the top off, it's all brand new. Uh, it's, it's sand and it comes in a tube. Now, Bobby Brown does one like this too, which I, I've known for years, but I've never tried this one by um, Ariane until now. So I'm going to apply it. It's kind of like you can put it on like face paint. <laughs> And you just sort of dab it on or pull it. Well, you gently apply it all over your face. Isn't that cool? So that's where I start anyway. It just It just kind of gives me something to work with and, and be able to blend it in, um, you know, all at once rather than trying to um, uh, put it in one section at a time. So I'm going to apply. And I'm not pulling very hard on my skin. I, I know that I, I tend sometimes to do that and people sometimes comment. So... I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm just patting it gently on my face. I'm going to put a little teeny bit on my, on my eyes as well. And then up on my forehead. Um, and I, actually, I'm so excited to try this new eyebrow product that she sent me. It's, you know, my eyebrows are my one thing that <laughs> always intrigued me and other people too. But here we are. This is the, this is the foundation. It's actually for a, um, a cream foundation it's super super light and it but you feel like you're putting something on yeah like it gives you some sense of, of color um, I'm gonna just have a quick look in the mirror here to see how that looks because I'm looking into my phone to apply this <laughs> talk about that uh, challenging but um yeah I don't I'm, I'm having a look here yeah do you know that for me is pretty much what all I would apply now, she also sent me her concealer palette, which um, for Ariane, she's got very high color on her cheeks. So she uses this like, like religiously, but I'm just going to use a teeny little bit. I've got some age. Um, well, what are they? Yeah, they're age spots. Guess what? I'm 70 years old almost, but you can mix the colors together a little bit and I know which ones work for me. And I'm going to just put them dab it on the, these little age spots that are here that I love so much. And um, actually, for some reason, I had a little um, mark there the other day. I don't know what it is. It's probably the sun. And um, I'm tr I've, by the way, I, I should check the SPF on that cream um, uh, foundation. But I'm sure it's, it's, there is SPF because um, Ariane's very, very religious about that. So that's my foundation. I don't think I'm going to do much more than that. Um, because there's another um, uh, thing that, that, that Ariane uh, uses and, and advises called her illuminating pen. It's a mineral, um, it's called a mineral illuminating pen. And you can put that around your eyes as a concealer. Now, I, I normally don't wear concealers. I've already said this. What's the point? I've got bags under my eyes. I've got wrinkles. They're not going to go away by any magic um, of makeup. But this does actually, if you put it low on your 
uh, well, sort of low on your eyes, almost on your cheekbone, you can actually see it reflects up. And um, it's a really, really interesting uh, illusion. And I'm going to just tap it, do the Ariane tap. <laughs> But you can see I put that down quite low. I didn't put it un right under my eye. And um, you can see how that actually does leave a little bit of a, sh of a glow up to under those um, uh, dark circles, which, which we all, all often have. And again, put it quite low here. And I'm going to put this down for a sec. Do my tap properly and that actually just pumps up the the, um, the eye area a little bit gets rid of some of those little wrinkles as well so that's the mineral illuminating pen i'm gonna put a teeny bit more on this side over here okay so that's primer foundation and illuminating pen and that's kind of almost for me the foundation i should put a teeny little dab in that part of the eye too that gets kind of uh, dark Okay, so that's what I would do with my the, sort of the basic foundation. I'm going to have a quick look again. I'm sure you're looking and thinking, oh, Margaret, there's a, some piece you've missed. Like my, oh, yeah, I did see right there. <laughs> okay, so that's, I could just make sure I blend it all in. Okay, so for me, I don't want to go too crazy with trying to hide anything. I'm not, it's not, that's not the point, but um, I do love playing with eyes. So that's the next thing. Now, um, Ariane has got some fabulous products. They're, um, I don't know, they're sort of a, a, a matte to, or sorry, liquid to matte. And when you put them on, um, they're liquid and then they change to matte. I'm going to just show you the colors because they're amazing. I, if you can see all those different colors. There is, I'm going to read them off here if I can... Let's see, amethyst is the purpley one. There's aurora, graphite, uh, crystal taupe, and topaz. But those are five, and you can get a much better over here. You get a much better idea of those colors if you go to Ariane's website. But I actually always used in the past the um, crystal taupe. That was kind of, in fact, my go-to um, uh, eyeshadow. And it is a beautiful color and very neutral that you can build on. You can put some other more sparkly or different colored um, uh, eyeshadow. Like I use Urban Decay. I have a really cool toasted color that I use. But I'm going to try this one today, which is the um, topaz. It's my birthstone, actually, Topaz November. And it's got a nice applier, but I always just put it on my on my, my wrist or my hand and then apply it from there. It just gives me a little bit more um, freedom. So here we go. Uh, dab this on. And you can see how it starts to go on. It's very, very light, but it's got beautiful um, color and texture. I'm really being gentle here, going just a teeny bit above my um, the the eye, just not not so much that it kind of goes into the crease too much, but a little teeny bit up. And then I'm going to do the other eye here, and then I'll check and see. But isn't that pretty? I really really do love this, and it 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 dries kind of um, matte, so it goes on wet like this, and then it goes very matte. So you can actually build the color up. It is, it's gorgeous. I really like this one, um, Ariane. I love the topaz. It's beautiful. And I think it's quite nice with most eye colors, um, but it's nice with brown and uh, hazel, I think. But anyway, I'll have a quick look to make sure I put that on. Kind of straight. Yeah. So you see? It's, it's not intense. It's, it's actually quite beautiful. And um, the next thing I, I normally don't do when I do these videos, because I'm not very good at it, is um, eyeliner. But Ariane has got some gel eyeliners, and um, the colors are really, really cool. I don't know if I could just put them on my wrist here, or my hand here, and you can see. <laughs> it's just like playing with a toy box of toys, really. It's wonderful. Yeah, this, she sent me four different colors. She's probably had there's more in her collection as well. And you can see if I can show you those. Can you see those colors? There's graphite, uh, sienna. Let's see, there's um, brocade. And um, what was the other one called? Majesty. The purple one's Majesty. But again, you can get all this information on Ariane's site. But there's four different colors. And I was going to try the brocade because um, for some reason that just sort of struck me. It's like a, brown, it's a neutral brown color. And if I can just find it, um, where is brocade? Uh, I think it's the one that 
Hi, here it is. It's really, really lovely, and I'm going to try. I don't use Ariane's specific technique, but um, it's really quite easy to apply if you just don't stress about it. Just start in the uh, corner there and just start gently. I just dot it across. And then just gently pull it. You don't have to worry too much about this being perfect because when you put your um, your mascara on, it's going to all kind of work together beautifully. So I'll just do the other side. And uh, people who wear glasses sometimes get nervous about this because you feel like you're going by touch. And you are. <laughs> So I just um, I just applied um, a little bit of brocade uh, eye gel eyeliner, and because it's a gel, it smoothly goes on. It's not like you're tugging at your at your eye. Okay, so that's all I think I'm going to do, and then uh, mascara. Okay, she sent two mascaras. One is a waterproof, and one is a, um, a not waterproof. And it's um, I'm not sure I've got too many things here, but I'm going to put the regular one on. It's got a very cool brush. Um, Ariane always talks about doing um, uh, vo volumizing a mascara, and so I'm, this is what she sent, and this is what I'm going to use because it's beautiful. It's got a, quite, quite a small brush, relatively speaking, but it's got lots and lots and lots of pull. And you can just do that actually, just oops, kind of just go down to the base of your eyelash and pull up. I'll check this in a minute to make sure I've done it okay, because as I said, I'm doing it from a distance here, but. Okay. I, it's nice. It's got a kind of wetness to it. It's not a completely dry mascara, but it's got a nice wetness to it. So you feel like you know what you're doing. Is that pretty? It's really, really lovely. I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> okay. Isn't this fun? All right. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Window to your soul. All right, that's my eyes. Now let me just double check, make sure I haven't smudged it. Okay, I might work on that a little bit more if I had it just one more time, but you get the idea. Okay, so you're noticing, what is she gonna do with her eyebrows? Okay, eyebrows are always the thing that, that drives me crazy because I, I have very little, uh, small eyebrows, thin, graying, um, random. <laughs> but um, Aria's product is a um, very, it's a new product, it's a brow mascara. And it's so super cool. Um, I just think of the right uh, thingy here. Um, I just opened the lipstick. Wait a second, where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's tiny. It's about the same size as a lipstick, but it's the uh, brow mascara. Tiny, tiny little brush. There is a way to do this, and Arian's done a great video on this, but here's what I picked up from it is you can start off by just going, see how it's hardly even there. Um, you can start by just gently going across, and it's got little tiny um, hairs in it, so it almost kind of pulls, well, it gives you shape for one thing. It actually gives you a little bit of shape and then just pull along to the edge, to the tail. But maybe spend a bit more time, go back and um, pull gently across. You can pull up a teeny bit too to get that volume. But I'm trying my best to see what I'm doing here in this mirror, but okay. But already you can see um, what, you know, a difference that makes. All right, so I'm gonna just take a quick look in the mirror to make sure I've got it more or less straight. Yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty good. It's got a nice color to it, too. It's not um, just it's not so taupey that it's boring. It's actually got a little bit of um, color to it, which I really like. So I'm going to go the other side here. This one's got moderately more hair on it. So I can get a bit more texture to it with my. OK, I just lost that little container. Here we go. You, you, it depends on what your style is. I mean, some people really do like to accent their eyebrows and big eyebrows and dark eyebrows are su super in right now. But um, I think for older women, it's kind of nice just to keep it kind of calm. And, uh, you know, just, I don't know, for me, it works this way. Okay, here we go. All right. So that's my eyebrows. And I think that's pretty good. Oh, it makes a huge difference, doesn't it? This Now, you can also spend more time on this working, getting the end like perfect and shape it with just a small brush, but I think this is okay for now. So that's eyebrows. I really like this product. I think this is one of my favorites because I do struggle so much with my um, eyebrows. So that's this little brow mascara. 
All right, we're going to keep moving here because I've got two more things to do. Lips and cheeks. Cheeks, um, Sunset is the name of this um, blush. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's pink. Uh, it looks pink. Let me just take the, open the lid. It looks pink, but when you actually put it on, it's very natural. So um, I've got a little brush here, if I can find it. Here we go. That um, is really uh, perfect for putting on blush. It's a small angle, angled brush. And just take a little bit. Now, you don't need much of this. I made a mistake the other day. I put too much. Just a little, little teeny bit. And then just dab it on your um, cheeks. Starting here at this, um, what do they call that? The cheek... Uh, apple of the eye or, or apple of the cheek I don't know but this is part right here because especially when you're doing pictures and videos you want to see it head on you don't want sort of it all over here although you do want to just pull it forward a little bit or back a little bit but you want you know the focus to be here I think that's for me it works and try the other side and you can smile it helps a lot to get that sort of that right positioning Okay, so there we go. Hold this up, put it down. <laughs> Too many things going on here. Okay, so that's the blush. I think that's a beautiful color. It's really, really um, natural. I mean, it doesn't look like you've pasted on a different, you know, color altogether. It's lovely. So that's my the blush. That's the sunset blush. I like that color a lot. Okay, finally, finally, lips. Now, lip liners. I usually do use a lip liner. I use a Kiko's lip liner, but this one I, I thought I'd try. It's, um, what's the color? Hollyberry. And I would just put it on like, a, you know, just I normally do. Slightly under, just around the lip line, but a little teeny bit below it. tricky to do this when you're not able to see completely but let me have a quick check yeah now you'll notice it's a darker color it's almost a, a pinker tone but it works with all lip colors or lipsticks and I always fill in my lip this has got a bit of a glow to it it's kind of oh, sorry it's kind of interesting color it's got almost a little frosty uh, feel to it. But the color lipstick I'm going to wear is not pink. Uh, I chose this coral color that I mentioned to you. And um, it, it, I mean, Ariane's got two, pro well, she sent me two. One is pink and one is kind of a peachy color. But I'm going to go with the peach color if I can find it. Let's have a look. Um, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Uh, there's also a beautiful gloss that goes with this, which I, I would love to try too. But um, that's the pink. Let's see if I can find the peach. The, this is the pink, by the way, I'll show you. Can you see? It's very sweet. It's a nice little uh, lipstick container. But the peach one is my fave. Can you see? It's really lovely. So I'll put some of that on. It goes on so smoothly. Uh, it's almost like a gloss, like a uh, lip gloss, but it's got a texture and the color of a lipstick. Can you see? I think that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm actually really happy with these um, combinations and with these products. I hope that you found this demonstration useful. You know, check out um, Ariane's site and see what you think about her product line in general. And also watch some of our videos on 60 and Me because, you know, I've, I've featured obviously Ariane's products on this show. But there's a lot of products that we've talked about in the past that are just great too. So you can mix and match everything. Um, I really like that color lipstick too. It's very understated. And that is the thing I like about, about makeup when applied naturally. You know, it just looks like, just like your natural self with a bit of a glow. So I hope you enjoyed this makeup video and uh, please stay tuned for things in the future. Check out our website, 60andme.com. And just thank you so much again for being here and for all the support you give us. Um, I really do from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Take very good care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.